Hi everyone, it's Hadassah. I'm going to let you know the three main reasons why DNA ancestry tests produce different results even from the same DNA sample. I hold a master in human genetics and my whole research was with genetic ancestry. So let's go straight to the point. The first reason is the algorithm. Once you provide your biological sample to the lab of your choice, they will extract the DNA from it, purify it and read your DNA through a process called genotyping that will give the necessary genetic information to proceed with the ancestry analysis. This information will serve as an input to a computer program who will perform a series of calculations and give as an output an estimative of genetic ancestry. This computer program is what we call the algorithm. There are different ancestry algorithms out there and they keep being proved with the time to give more precise results as anything else in science. So improvement in the algorithm leads to slightly different results that is more precise results even from the same sample. Depending on the algorithm of choice and depending on which version of the algorithm has been used, you have the different results. Here it's important to keep in mind that genetic ancestry is an estimative. There will be always a minus or plus error range. The improvements in the algorithms make this error range be smaller, producing more precise results. The second reason is the population of reference. What is a population of reference? It is a group of people from the same area and their DNA also do not differ much from each other, meaning that they are, they have, their DNA is homogeneous. As they are genetically more homogeneous, they serve as reference for someone who has a mixture. The second reason is connected to the first reason. How? The population of reference is part of the algorithm. They are the samples which the computer program will compare with your sample to determine how much you have from each of them. So if you're a mixture of European, Native American and African, that's my case, you have your genetic information being compared with the genetic information of African, European and Native American populations of reference. The variation here lies on which populations of reference does the lab of your choice have implemented in their algorithm. Different companies may use different groups of reference. And the same company may also add populations of reference with time. The same way the algorithms are improved with the time, populations of reference are also added with the time. So when you provide your DNA sample to different companies, you get different results. They should not be too different from each other, but they will have a difference. And when you provide your sample to the same company in different periods of time, you also get different results because during this time, they may have added new references to the, the algorithm, making it also more precise. This is one of the ways to make the algorithm more precise, adding more reference, actually. The third reason is connected to the previous two as well and that is the data available. The reason why the companies keep adding population of reference to the algorithm and they keep improving the algorithm is because we do not have all data available yet. What do I mean by that? There is indeed a lot of populations of reference available. However, they do not cover the whole variability that exists in the world. There is still a lot of room for improvement on that as well. And I can give you a practical example with the Brazilian ancestry that was my master research. Brazil has a population that is extremely mixed. And this mixture includes African ancestry, European ancestry, Asian ancestry, Middle East, all over the world including the Native Americans. However, we still don't have enough genetic data available from our native Brazilians, which makes it more difficult to access the Native American ancestry in the Brazilians. 
because it's not completely the same as the Native American ancestry in North or Central America. With the time, we all hope this data will be available and then you'll be able to access more precisely in the current Brazilian population. I have to deal with this issue during my research while you're preparing an ancestry panel for the Brazilian population. If you want to know more about that, my research is published in the European Journal of Human Genetics and I leave the link here in the description so that we can access it. I just let like you know these three main reasons for the genetic ancestry test, not to discourage you of taking one, but to let you know what happens behind the scene so that you can understand that as anything in science, everything is still in improvement. And during this process of improvement, you get more and more resolution more and more precise results with the time. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to hear more. Bye-bye!